Hi, my name is Timothy Butler, and today I'll be talking about my scuba diving equipment and my scuba diving experiences and how they have changed and affected my life. Uh, the first thing I'll address is my equipment, and the first thing we put on is our wetsuit. This one here is a three millimeter. Um, it is go it ranges from a nine millimeter to all the way down to two millimeter, and there are different sizes, lengths of the arms um, and legs, depending on the water temperature. Um, the next is our tank. Our tank is usually filled from 3,000 to 3,500 PSI, and on a regular dive, we use about 2,000 PSI, just depending on how much air you're sucking. Um, what connects to the tank that connects to the BC is your octopus. Your octopus has two sets of regulator, your primary and your secondary. Your secondary is just in case your other diver runs out of air and you need to share air or something of that nature occurs. Um, the other two hoses on this side will be your inflator hose, which will inflate your BC, um, and your computer. Your computer has your compass, your PSI on it, and um, how long you've been down, all sorts of that kind of stuff. Um, this BC here is actually self-integrated with its weights. Instead of having a weight belt around your waist, this one has weights inside, insecurely in the BC, and you need weights to keep yourself buoyant in the water. <clears throat> we also use fins, masks, and snorkels. I didn't bring those out. Um, but those are common. Uh, now that you're familiar with our equipment, um, I'll talk about the process of my certification and dives. Uh, I was first certified when I was 12 years old. My open water process was um, through a classroom for about five sessions at Highland Pool for four to get familiar with the equipment and all that. And then we went to Blue Hole for a weekend, Santa Rosa, and we did four dives. Um, in those four dives, we learned how to share air and address situations if we do run out of air, and filling up our mask with water and taking it off, all sorts of scenarios so we are prepared for the big ocean. Um, our other certifications we had is advanced, my, is my advanced open water certification and my oxygen provider and also CPR, certifi CPR certified. My advanced and the open water is different because the advanced lets you go down further and opens you up to more certifications throughout the diving, diving world. Um, the buddies I've had through my experiences is uh, my brother Sean, um, my father, my stepmom and my stepsister. My father was actually the one that got me into scuba diving when he came back from the Marines as an embassy guard in the Bahamas. He got our whole family into uh, scuba diving. Um, the family vacations we've taken was our first one was in Mexico. Um, we did Seal Island and Deer Island <laughs> and Deer Island. Uh, that was my first dive in the ocean actually. Um, we went to Florida we went through, through the Keys, and the one I remember most was St. John Penny Camp. There was a huge statue down at the bottom of the ocean, and tons of jellyfish was kind of made the experience not so great, but it was still fun to dive. Um, Hawaii was the most recent one we went to. Uh, we went to Kauai, and there was tons of turtles, turtles the size of BMWs down there. Um, you'll never see the same color twice at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, the visibility is clear as for miles. You'll Nothing clogs it up. Um, the impact of my life is very significant, and I encourage you all to at least give it a shot. Um, but beware, once you go down once, you don't want to come back up, and you want to keep got diving in and going down to new places and trying new spots. Um, I will be showing you now clips of videos that I've taken through my scuba diving, and um, here we go.